In October 2014, government approved the construction of an international specialized hospital in Luboa, hoping to reduce the medical referrals abroad and the high rates of mortality. Government and Finance Rocco Construction Limited negotiated and signed a number of agreements to have this facility established on 32 hectares of land. The Attorney General at that time advised Government and Finance Rocco that there was no need to consult Parliament on the matter. This resulted in a project delay because government needed to raise the necessary funds. This forced the Attorney General to reverse his earlier opinion to the effect that Parliament approval was required for the issuance of promissory notes. Upon default of terms of the contract, Finasi Roko issued a default note to government. And that is of 750,000 US, 750, US dollars. And um, as per the terms of the agreement, Every day we keep defaulting, it increases. Civil society organizations now believe it is important for government to review some of the terms of the contract upon which the promissory notes were issued. We think something ha can be done if a cost-benefit analysis is undertaken to actually assess if we terminate at this point, how much are we going to lose? Because should we fail to meet our obligations in paying back this loan, the burden will shift back to Ugandans. Nathan Irumba, the regional executive director of Siatini, believes that government should concentrate on refurbishing and overhauling the country's health sector. I think we have abdicated to a certain extent our responsibility in beefing up the hospitals that we have. Joyce Nakato, NTV Tonight.